parallel universes, alternate dimensions, alternate realities, and oh, so many other names. Call it what you will, but no matter what you call it, they can be frightening, especially if you wake up to find yourself in one. This week, we'll look at a few stories of people who have found themselves in just such bizarre circumstances, and they believe that they have indeed traveled to or from another reality, and that this universe may not be their own. Theirs is a reality similar to ours in almost every respect, but with tiny, subtle differences that only they could spot. Sit back, hit the lights, hold on tight as we dive deep down the rabbit hole of r slash parallel universe, and ask yourself, what would you do if you found yourself in such a predicament? Enjoy! So this happened to me around 2012. I was 15 at the time, and I still think about it every now and then. I don't know if this is some sort of glitch or a parallel universe I've wandered into, but I lean towards the latter. I would hang out with my cousin just about every weekend to play music. We are the same age, and I would play drums while he played his guitar. After we concluded our jam session, we went to the computer, so we could look up some YouTube videos. However, before we did that, my cousin decided to show me something he found on the NASA official website. We were kind of nerds, so he knew I would be interested. Well, we watched YouTube videos and played some games before falling asleep later on that day. When I woke up, I got some water from his fridge and I still couldn't stop thinking about that asteroid net. My cousin woke up shortly after I did and found me walking back to his bedroom with my cup of water so I decided to ask him if he could send me the link to that AstroNet article. My cousin is now confused and says, What article? I tell him about the article he showed me on the NASA website detailing our conversation to jog his memory, thinking he was just groggy and needed some help remembering. My cousin tells me that this didn't happen at all, yet he agrees all the things I said about his half of the conversation sounded like something he would say do. The mannerisms and his point of view in speaking of the article would be the same as I described him if he could remember it. This was enough to spark his interest. He wanted to see if maybe it did happen and he had somehow lost his memory of it. We go to his computer and we look up the NASA website and look for the article. We find nothing. We think, talk it over, and decided to look at his browser history to see if we could find the article that way. We find nothing again. At this point, I'm creeped out because I know what I saw. I remember the conversation, and I could detail everything about it. My cousin says that maybe I just had a very oddly realistic dream. And I told him, no, it couldn't be a dream, because my dream last night was something entirely different. He then says, okay, well, when did this happen exactly? I told my cousin how it started right after we got done playing music and went to the computer. My cousin is now creeped out a bit too, and I can see it on his face. He tells me at that exact time I mentioned I went blank face and I stared at the wall next to his computer for about 15 minutes, and that he assumed that I was just zoned out and thinking about something. This whole thing is just plain weird. I still do not know what happened. Does anyone else have any ideas? Posted by user DM Dragon Cam. The creepiest part about this story is where his cousin's mentioning that he just sits blank for 15 minutes, just staring at nothing. Did his consciousness slip into another dimension? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. For this next story, English isn't the user's first language, and unfortunately, there are some names in this that I am going to butcher. I'll do my best, but bear with me. Thank you. Enjoy. For the past three years, weird things are happening to me. I don't know how to explain it, but it's weird. I think something is wrong with me. My English is bad, so I'll try my best. Sometimes, things, objects, get changed. Like in 2017, I bought, wanted to eat a chocolate called Chocolate Turkish. So I went to the kitchen to get that. I searched everywhere, but I couldn't find it. So, instead of chocolate, I took Ulka Chocolata, Turkish, from the kitchen. Then I put Ulka Chocolata on the table and went to the bathroom. After I went back from the bathroom, there was no Ulka Chocolata. Instead, there was chocolate on the table. 
I'm not dumb or something. They are both different. So I don't know how this happened. In 2018, me, my dad and my mother were eating in the kitchen. My mum said, your son wants a key for his room. And I was like, what? I don't want a key for my room. Then my mum said, but you said you wanted a key for your room. I said, no, I didn't. Then my mum said, I swear that you said that. I'm not lying. I still asked my mother, did I really say that? And she says, yes, you did. Also in 2018, I bought a red pencil for myself. It was red. I'm 100% sure it was red. But one day after, it became blue. I'm not lying. It happened. It became blue. And last week, my mum made a cake for us. It was chocolate cake. I ate half of it, then went to the bathroom. And when I came back, there was a piece of orange on the cake. I asked my mum, was there a piece of orange on the cake before? She said, yes. I'm not blind or something. There was no orange on the cake. Then went to the kitchen and checked the cake and there were pieces of orange on the cake. Like, how did this happen? I don't know if this has something to do with parallel universes or something, but I wanted to share it. Sorry for my bad English. Posted by user Michael Roddock. I don't know if this guy keeps slipping into a parallel universe or just has a really bad memory. What do you guys think? I'm having a hard time with all of this. At this point, I'm really starting to feel crazy and I'm seriously wondering if my memory is faulty. I'm not experiencing a lot of weird or crazy personal stuff, just keep noticing odd little changes. Most of them seem insignificant, but it feels so weird. So I've been aware of what is known as the Mandela Effect for a while. It seemed really odd that stuff seems to change so erratically. So yeah, I remember Nelson Mandela's funeral or whatever. I must be in the 1991 death time stream. I was born in 1988, but still remember that some news coverage. More important than what was said on the TV, there seemed to be a weird, sinister vibe to what was going on. I got the idea that, despite what was being said, people thought something else had happened. Basically, to me, it seemed like an assassination and cover-up. So, okay, reality ain't what it used to be. I can deal, I guess. But now, even more stuff is changing. The one that has me freaked out is a Lindbergh baby. Obviously, it happened way before I was born, and I don't really have a connection to the incident other than an interest in the strange and paranormal. But, that baby was never found. It was a huge mystery for that reason. So now, they found him after paying the ransom? Just some trucker trying to pee found the body. I don't know. All this stuff is weirding me out. I guess here is the meat of this post. Does anyone have any compelling theories as to why or how stuff keeps changing? Obviously, convincing proof may be hard to pass out now. But there has to be something. Circumstantial evidence of some kind. I just need something to help me believe I'm not losing it entirely. Thanks for reading and hit me with your best Reddit. Posted by user Riley, daughter of Ra. I completely agree with this last one. I had no idea the Lindbergh baby had even been found. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoy, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one. Good night.